thank you, Sachin. Um, so I'm hoping we will see some slides. And I was asked to really say, how do we measure the, the slope? Um, so that is, I'm trying this uh, remote clicker. So we'll see if that uh, activates. And if it doesn't, which it doesn't seem to be, I'm going to ask the guys just to press the advance button, please. And that should bring up the next. So. Um, studies have shown really the way in which we measure that you can measure this in a number of ways and I think what I'm going to talk about is that off the plane x-ray which is something that's immediate to all of us there have been numbers a number of methods in how do we actually do this what I've taken is the most accurate uh, methods in that in that analysis of inter-observer reliability so the short film the way we do this I don't know you just press advance please you draw two circles in the proximal uh, uh, tibia, and you can see those ideally should be 15 centimeters apart. And then you draw a line, advance please, up through those, uh, advance please, yep. And then keep going, click please. And that then you draw a 90 degree perpendicular to that, and then click on again, please. The normal slope should be seven to nine degrees. So that's how we do it on the short film lateral. That's been shown to be more accurate than using that posterior cortex. You go to the next slide, please. Now, yeah, I'm sorry about my choice of socks in this video. That's me demonstrating how we uh, do a long leg lateral. Now for this is a trick that I learned when I spent two years with, with Charlie Brown and, uh, and, and Ronald in, in Abu Dhabi where this I think is the gold standard it's been shown in those studies the most accurate measure and if you, people say well how on earth do we do this we simply use the standard x-ray that you would do a normal coronal plane alignment and we stand the patient in this position and that gives us this standing lateral view and I don't if we can advance click please what we do is we draw a line across the tibial plafond click on please you then draw a line parallel to the tibial plateau, click on please, and then a line drawn 50% along those two lines. Click on please. And again, if we look at that now in zoom detail, you'll see that the that produces this and the further click please. And that is then you draw uh, 90 degrees to the line you've drawn and that then gives you the best measurement of tibial slope accounting into the fact that you the way, the shape of the tibia. And if you click to the next slide, please. One of the other huge advantages of doing it in this is that you also get an assessment in the weight bearing knee of the amount of anterior tibial translation. So if you click forward, please, you'll see that you can see here, click forward, please. And again, you'll see there we are able to see the amount of tibial translation. And then again, forward, please. You can do this using MRI. The challenge is inter-observer reliability. And, and so the studies have shown, and so for me, the optimal way of measuring is using that long leg plane X-ray. Thank you. Mm -hmm.